Good evening, everyone. Sorry for my bad Italian English. First of all, I would like to thank Daphne, relatives and friends. The pro-democracy NGO Republica, the Maltese group Occupy Justice, and uh, Manuel Corinne, friend and colleague, uh, who will never stop thinking for the work he is doing. For the FNSI, National Federation of the Italian Press, being here today, four years after the murder of Daphne, is not only a duty to honor her memory, but it is also fundamental for the future of the European democracy. When we talk, when we talk about uh, the story of Daphne, it is impossible to not think about uh, Ilaria Alpi, Miran Rovatin, Giulio Regeni, Italo Toni, Graziella De Palo, Andy Rochelli, just the name of you. These are open scar of, for all European citizens. Asking for truth and justice for Daphne means asking to live in a better world in which citizens don't give up in front of injustice of the world we live in. As already done by the FNSA president, uh, Giuseppe Giulietti, and the secretary, Raffaele Lorusso, just uh, two days ago in Brussels, turning the spotlight, the spotlight on Daphne, on her history, made up a threats, low suites, and personal attack mean keeping the fire of a realized democracy, made up of investigative journalists free to criticize and investigate, because this is the purpose of the journalistic profession. Even today, here from Malta, four years after the murder of Daphne, we ask all Italian media operators to continue the investigation of Daphne. As Manuel wrote in his blog, Daphne's work, her writing, and the impact of her investigation have been determining ingredients behind the event that have taken place in Malta and beyond every day since her assassination. It is true. Daphne's immense sacrifice has left a void in the European democracy community, community an open scare. Daphne investigation also brought attention to Italian organized crime, Mafia and Camorra in particular. This is why today it is important to launch an appeal again to fellow Italian journalists to write, let's make Daphne's work, her investigation know, let's carry them out, let's create a media supply to have truth and justice for Daphne and for every journalist killed around the world will join their job. Their, <laughs> their inquire are our fool to fool to move forward. Slap. <laughs> Daphne saw with her own eyes the weight of the judicial threats they wanted to crush her. Daphne job, Daphne's job has been made even more complicated by legal threats. The 50 get, gag complaints that wait on the journalist's work in October 2007 are enormous. A weapon, a weapon of intimidation toward journalists that we are also trying to counter in Italy without receiving the help of the government and Italian politics. Bills at no cost for Italy are frozen in Parliament. This is why we joined the appeal of the EFJ, European Federation of Journalists, for the issuance of an EU directive for the subject of gag complaints. Because before the TNT was the climate of threats, demonization, and intimidation in which her murder mattered that killed Daphne. The climate, the climate of hatred toward journalists is often fueled by politics. It is necessary to address the issue of political, political language. In Europe, the trend is to polarize the voters, to make them opposing fans, like in a football match. When politics attack journalists uncomfortable in power, it is attacking the very root of democracy a political power that today would like there to
to be no difference between a journalist and a microphone stand. To this future, future we say no. Daphne was right. Journalism is not a crime. Thank you.